going on guys, Abdur Sun here from AndroidExtremist.com In this video I'm going to review Pac-Man ROM for your Galaxy Note 2 Let's go ahead and dive into this review Now before we begin, we, I'm going to let you know all the files and uh, how to video is in description So make sure you go ahead and check that out So now this is going to be a really really quick review because Pac-Man ROM is like many other ROMs Combines uh, Panorama Android, Silent Gemma 10.1 and AOKP and it gives you all the cherry picks and includes their own little things that is not that important but it is what it is so as, as, as you saw right there it gives you three different launcher tributes Apex and Nova launcher so let's go ahead and check out the Pac-Man ROM it comes with Halo feature from Pan or Android ROM and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to system setting about phone I don't think you need those down there so if you want to get rid of it you can I just flash this ROM now depending on your provider and your developer of this ROM you might have different things on your ROM now as you can see build number right there it says Pac-Man 4.2.2 and right there I pause because I just want you guys to make sure what you're running it says AOKP, CM, Pac-Man and all that other things as well so make sure you know what you're doing in there now about above the above phone you will see the pac-man stats performance control super issue or super user permission right there now if you go right there you can disable all the stats and stuff you might want to have enabled if you don't care because this does help developers out on what issues you are facing now under performance control you'll be able to control your cpu and other stuff like that i put remember and allow forever because I do mess around with CPU the way I like and uh, make this adjustment and make it make it uh, set on boot that's what I meant to say right here I turned that on and now I haven't set up anything I just wanted to make sure that in this review I show you everything that this ROM offers and uh, Garner oh it doesn't offer that much so I'm just gonna leave that Garner on Hmm, for some reason it doesn't want me to and right here is advanced setting where you're gonna find uh, everything about your phone and you don't need that CPU uh, spy application because it does tell you right here on how much your CPU has been sleeping and what it's doing and the process of RAM you'll be finding right there as well I'm gonna go ahead and hit back button under super user permission as I said before you will see what what are the application that you've been allowed the permission under the developer options uh, let's see if we have to turn on the extended power menu power menu bug reports we don't need that uh, or if you get if you're flashing nightly make sure you turn this thing on because it will allow you to turn have a bug report in your power menu so you can report all the bugs from your power menu as you can see profiles from Sanojima Tempo 1 is right here you can select different profiles and customize profiles depending on your needs so you can use the phone fullest possible here are the themes so you can install different themes uh, lock screen customize all your lock screen stuff from here now I'm gonna really really go basics and uh, show you what it offers not in go in depth because if you want to see in depth videos you could go ahead and check all the reviews i did pan or android i did okp and i did sanaj my tempo one so make sure you go ahead and check out all the reviews which will be in the description as well and this will be just basics and hybrid properties is where you're going to find all the pan or android uh setting their own custom stuff that they offer and you'll you can turn on stock UI, tablet UI, or tablet UI depending on what you want, and change the app per DPS stuff from there as well. Now I'm, uh, what do you call talking fast? So forgive me on that. I don't know for some reason I just got used to talking fast. And uh, if you need to pause the video, and then try to understand what I'm saying, if you don't get it the fastest. Now here is your typical AOKP ROM control where you're gonna find status bar system and general interface settings and uh, again ribbons are awesome stuff uh, you can turn it on and then when you swipe like whatever you have that thing on it will give you different shortcuts so make sure you check out ribbons ribbons I don't know if I'm saying it correct these are the hello and 
there you go there was the AOK program control and system this is a system not notification uh, clock widget hardware keys pre pi setting hello setting so that's the different cherry picks in the under the system menu as well now something cool that this particular version of the pac-man comes with is i'm gonna select always and i'm gonna go with noah launcher because i like that is google pac-man so you can start playing pac-man i don't know if you can hear Yeah, you can start playing this game if you want to just tap where you want it to go. Oops. Well, as you can see right there, you can start playing Pac-Man. It gives you Google manage Go Manager, not Google Manager, Go Manager. Hello, keep and all other stuff right here. Battery stat. I don't think I don't think really you really really need battery stat. This is just stuff the developer likes to throw on as extra bloatware i really don't like it and i don't recommend any developers doing this as well not bashing the developer you're more than welcome to do whatever you want in your own creation but it comes with apollo music player camera works as you can see tap to focus i'm just gonna tap and uh yeah guys this was just a review of the pac-man realm feel free to subscribe like my videos and i will see you in the next video